In this project, we're going to be soldering a battery for our wearable tech project. The wires here are a little too short and they're also not very flexible, the ones that have come with the battery. So we're going to fix that with our silicone wires. So whenever I'm doing a battery, I always make sure to do one at a time. That way these two wires never cross um, super bad. So um, I'm going to start with the red, that power, that VCC line. And I'm going to um, attach silicone wire this time instead. So the first thing we're going to do is just cut that wire a little shorter, um, just because it's quite a stiff wire. We don't really want that. So we'll work on this side first. And same as we've done before, we're going to use these little lovely wire strippers. So we'll get these to just um, remove the cover for this wire so we can solder it. Now another thing which we haven't done yet in another video um, is we're gonna use, it's a little difficult to see, but this is heat shrink. And what we'll do is we place a little bit of this over our wire and that way it'll cover our wire with a really nice seal on top of it. So we're just gonna cut a piece that will definitely go over both halves of the wire, halves of the wire. So it's probably about here is probably good enough. Um, actually maybe a bit, bit less because this also is a little bit um, firm and the whole point is we're trying to create a bit of a softer um, well plus the wires aren't long enough but we're trying to create a bit of a softer connection to kind of map in with these soft silicone wires that we did put in earlier so this is now our small piece so we can pop this over the top like that we can put it over either piece it doesn't really matter but as long as I know it's there. And then I'm just going to cut some fresh silicone wire hot off the press. So here's our silicone wire and I'm just gonna measure it out. I will measure it to match in with the previous wires that I cut. Now I do know these are probably gonna be too long now. I've altered where I'm putting my circuit board, but it doesn't matter. I'd rather have too much than too little, as I've said before. And same with this one, we're just going to take it through here and we're going to just strip off the wire. There we go, the cover of the wire. So now I'm left with this piece here. So we've got our two exposed wires. There's a few different ways we can do this. Uh, some people like to put both wires together and twist them. So let's just zoom in a little here. So it could be that we've, we'll zoom in a little bit here. So here we have our two wires and we could potentially twist these together or we can sort of make two kind of hooks and hook them together. Uh, what I'm going to do is give them a twist and then give that one a twist and then I probably will actually just bend them to form a sort of a hook shape. Um, I don't have my other pliers with me, but in general, what we're looking for is that kind of rounded shape. We'll do that for both of them. And we're going to hook these together. And then what we're going to do is add our um, flux onto that. So the store sort of staying together anyways at the moment. I'm going to put a bit of our flux on it. It just helps the um, flow when there is no lead in it. I'm just going to cover these nicely. Okay. And then we just need to make sure our solder iron is nice and hot, uh, and then we can solder this connection. So what we're gonna do is um, you really need to hold the solder iron on that connection, and we want them both to be very, very hot, so that way when we tap the solder onto it, and I'm gonna use this, um, it's quite a thick one here, again, lead-free, uh, then, when we tap it, the solder will just flow straight through it, which would be fantastic. So we'll wait while this little guy here heats up. We can see it going through. Um, so when we're at about, I like 380, I like to get it super hot, so that way I only have to touch it for a small amount of time. That's probably hot enough already though. And so we can see these are the two wires here that we're looking at. I'm just gonna make sure they're both Got enough exposed. And then I'm just going to hold this onto the underside of them 
just to make sure that these both really heat up. Okay, so when they're really heated up, what you'll end up doing is popping the solder onto it and it should flow straight through both of these connections. That probably is enough. I like to really go in there. That's just me. Beautiful. Okay, so that's gonna form a really solid connection. Don't forget, just um, wipe off tip. And then I do like to give it a quick tin in my little tip tinner. Okay. So what we're gonna just check is that we have got, you gotta do that pull test. Okay, we're happy with that. Now all we need to do is slide our heat shrink over both of those connections. Okay, so see, we've just slid that right over. And then what you can do is if you have a hot air gun, that's the best way to do it, blow the hot air on it. If you don't, you can, which isn't recommended, but you can use a lighter, for example, or flame, or sometimes even a hairdryer on that hot setting will melt it. And this will basically just melt straight over top of our connection, creating, again, that security that we're after, especially this is to a battery pack. We really want a strong connection here. So here's the finished project at the moment. We have our wires connected to our e-paper screen. And as we can see, this is where we have connected our battery to those silicone wires. This will be embedded in between the fabric of the bag. And that's the project. There'll be more tutorials as we progress through finishing off the bag entirely. So please stay tuned, stay subscribed for more wearable technology content and hopefully projects that you'll make as well. Thank you.